Good morning. Happy Monday. This week we will continue to use your CGP books as well as videos and my flip charts for your work in your books, but there also might be the opportunity to do things practically. So this week we are still, oh, today we are starting the week thinking about, okay, so we're thinking about halves, thirds and quarters. With fractions, you understand first of all that halving is splitting a whole into two equal parts. We'll also touch on thirds and quarters today. A whole has two equal parts. The parts are called halves. You can see an annotation here with numbers, which again you would have seen before half term when we talk about doubles and halves. You introduce a fractions M to show a half. Here we have it. A half is a fraction. When we think about the half, and we think about this fraction itself and how it's written, the numerator, which is at the top, represents a part of the whole. The denominator represents the whole. How many there are all together? Now, in our book, there you go. You can see the dates there and the title you need. Can you carefully copy the image in your book? You don't have to do a gummy bear. If you want to do a circle, that's absolutely fine. But what's important is that you can split it in half because we really want to try and represent it. And again, if it is the gummy bear, great. And if it's a circle, just swap the word. So let's write it in together. The whole gummy bear is split into two equal parts. Each part is worth a half. This can be written as one over two because that represents half when it's written down. Here you can see some spellings you might need to help you fill in those sentences. All right, feel free to pause here and give that a go. Okay. Now on to thirds and quarters using your CGP book. Got it ready? Good stuff, when you page 38. Okay, a whole can be split into three parts. Each part is called a third. One third is shaded. You can see that in your example. The green shows the one bit that's shaded. The number of the, the number of shaded parts are one. The total number of parts are three. One third is called a fraction. A whole is made of four quarters. This is one quarter, again like before. One part is shaded. There are four parts in total. Here you have the one quarter. As we move down, oh, there we go. As we move down, things change a bit. Two parts are shaded. Now we have two quarters. There are still, though, four parts in total. Ooh, over here, you can see we've got three quarters. Three out of the four are shaded. Two quarters is the same as one half. We'll come on to a bit more of that later on in the week. Now, on to your tasks. So again, question one should be pretty straightforward. Two and three might be a bit trickier, but do give them a go. Okay, just take the time, take a look and give them a go. So look at the picture. Question one, how many parts are shaded blue? Okay. How many parts are there in total? What fraction is shaded? Here, you'll need to write in that fraction. Remember, use page 38 if you need to, to remind you of what fractions look like. Question two, match the shaded fractions to the pictures and words. First example, we can see here, because one part is shaded, three parts remain, but they're four in total, we know this is one quarter. That's it written down. There are the words, okay? So can you do the same for the other two shapes? And finally, tick all the shapes that have three quarters shaded, okay? Three out of the four shaded. Right, give that a go. Feel free to pause it here and then move on for the answers. I'm back. So here are your answers. We had one part was shaded blue, 
there are three parts in total and the fraction is one third. One third, one third, sorry, is shaded. Here we have two quarters and here we have three quarters. Okay, and you should have ticked here and here. Good stuff. Additional tasks if you wish to do so. Move me up here a bit. Oh, okay. So again, feel free to write this underneath your activity with your halves. Three friends are sharing a pizza. The pizza is split into equal parts. Each part is worth the. This is the same as what numbers need to go in here. Share the smarties equally between four people. The smarties, split, the smarties are split into equal parts. Each part is worth the. This can be written as, I think you get the gist. There are some spellings there if you need them, okay? Do give that activity a go. I'll just move on to what the challenge is so you can see what's coming and then you can decide how you make it work for you. Challenge to finish. Alex, Annie and Whitney each show a piece of ribbon. Whitney shows half of her whole ribbon. Alex shows a quarter of her whole ribbon and Annie shows one third of her whole ribbon. Whose whole piece is the longest? Whose is the shortest? Can you explain why? There's your challenge to finish. Do give those activities a go and then come back for your answers, which will follow. Good luck. 